There my fallen ones, and today I've got quite the video to be doing. We're gonna be going over my favorite Roblox anime games of 2023 now. This is a video I've just wanted to get out really quickly, because these free games, I'm pretty passionate about them. I like them a whole lot, so... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I don't want the video to drag on for more than 10 minutes, really, so we're gonna try to keep it shorter, maybe 7, 6 minutes, doesn't matter. If it goes longer, that doesn't matter. 50th time I've said that. <laughs> and in this video, we will be discussing my three favorite anime games of 2023, aka my top three. So, for those will be Peroxide, TSP, as well as The Abyss World. Now, Abyss World's one that a lot of people don't know about, but first, obviously, I'll be starting with Peroxide, so let's go. Now, this game has grown my channel a huge amount from what it used to be, so obviously, there's going to be a bit of bias here. Obviously, I wouldn't be where I am with all these numbers and all these amazing fallen ones if it wasn't for Peroxide, so yeah. But I will be going over key little points of every single game, and starting with Peroxide, we can talk about the progression now. Unlike most anime games, the progression is quite sweet, actually, giving you a lot of ways to progress in lots of different parts of the world. And I do really like about how the game's variety is so huge. The progression is better than a lot of games' progressions, because it's not as repetitive, because you can go time gates, you can fight different bosses, get items that boost you, PvE stats. It really is. There's a lot to do to progress, as well as invasions being an amazing ad. Time gates is one of the best things I've ever seen in a Roblox anime game, which... I'm very happy about, and the variety of the game in, let's say, there's clans, abilities, and races, so I could be a Quincy with Yahoo Watch with all the different clans, then Ishida with all the different clans, you see what I mean? And then with the different builds and stats, you can just make so, and just churn out so many different builds in the game, that's what really attracted me to it, because I can make lots of videos on it, because... Even with how many videos I've already done in the game, I think I've done 60-something videos on Peroxide now. I've still got like a hundred more builds to make videos on, which is insane, so... Yeah, the variety really is there. And the buff items do remind me a lot of GPO, but Peroxide is more rewarding with it, because the rates are better, and honestly, you can just get really good buff items pretty easily, other than the Hell's Executioner, which was fairly recent, but you can manage without the Hell's Executioner for builds, I'd say. Coupling the time gates with the end game, you can really do well because time gates is just a great end game to get in there with your friends and with the mm, rank system, the ones, the twos, the threes, the fours, the fives, nobody plays the four, threes, fours, or fives, but the one and twos are really fun. 2v2s, I have a lot of fun in there with my friend Safe, my buddy, he's really, really good at the game and 2v2s can be really fun in that game. So the combat, I do enjoy that quite a lot, and with the gems giving variety as well, I love the game of Peroxide. Really good PvP in my opinion, no matter what anybody says. The uptilts are good, the counters, the abilities, the combo extenders, as well as the evasion system just being perfect. I'd say it's like top tier PvP on Roblox, next to DSB, depending on how you feel about it, so... In conclusion, the best Bleach game I've ever played. Not even just on Roblox, it's better than Bleach Brave Souls easily. <laughs> it's the actual best Bleach game. Next here, this will be a bit of a shorter one. This is going to be the Strongest Battlegrounds. Now, the Strongest Battlegrounds, sorry, that's a Saitama Battlegrounds. I'm sure all of you know it. It's one of the biggest games on Roblox right now, like top five most played games, 120 players, 120k players. And I think it's mainly just known because the combat system is so easy to pick up. The combos are so fun. The abilities are really fun. They look amazing. They animate amazing. And they do really good combos, depending on how you can learn it with your... Kyoto combos for Garo, the way you can fling away an enemy and hit him with Genos' combos, and even the fact that they're just adding more and more characters. Just being a 1v1 team fight and 2v2 game, that's all we need, man. TSB, it's a great game. The great game. <laughs> the gate is a great game. <laughs> with all the new additions of characters, giving a total of five characters now. So I've really enjoyed it personally, and I love the game because of the PS system. It's so fun. Because I'll stream, right? And we get, like, 20 people in. 15, sorry. 15 people in. We'll do a 7v7 team fight. We'll do a free-for-all. Winner gets chat mod. You know, it's really fun. It's a great game for streaming. It's fun with friends, too. I don't really think it's great for making videos, but it's really good for streaming. So, honestly, it's my favorite game to stream. Easily. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a bit of a shorter one, but that's my second one. 
Abyss World is one a lot of people don't know about, and this is why I've got to talk about it. Abyss World is an RB game that a lot of people haven't played yet. It's very difficult because it's based off of the anime of Made in Abyss, which involves a lot of da -da -da -da, fall into your death like Kirby. <laughs> and I do love it because you get to do a long wind-up jump mechanic that lets you traverse the map, which makes it a world, and I mean a world of fun to be playing, because running around a map, just jumping, hopping around like a Mario or something, it's cool, okay? And the map is absolutely gorgeous like look at it on screen right now i'll try to put it here the game is so damn pretty <laughs> i'd recommend you play it with only two people maybe three but only play it in like two or three groups because that's really fun there links to all these games will be below by the way especially abyss world i love this game you start out with 10 lives and every new checkpoint you get you get 10 more lives and if you reach zero you get reset to the end but with how the game is after like the fifth level and you're good at the movement system the jumping system You'll probably be able to beat every level in under 10 lives. There's 11 levels right now, and the next layer of the Abyss they'll be adding is... Mwah, magnif magnifique. <laughs> it's really damn cool. So a drop-dead gorgeous game with great movement. Probably the best obby on Roblox. And I'm sad that it doesn't get many players, to be honest. It only averages around 100, maybe 200. I believe it deserves more. But after you beat it, it's not much to do, so I understand why it gets lower players. It's pretty cool. And when you beat a level, after dying at it a lot, the sense of accomplishment, it is there, let me tell you. <laughs> you feel like a god after beating one of those levels that gave you a lot of trouble, truly. Especially level 8, so... Easily the best I'll be game I've played on Roblox, hands down. And as you go deeper and deeper in the abyss, it can just get so damn fun with reviving your teammates, running through. It's a really casual game, I'll say, so... Hope you'll enjoy. Those are my top three games of the year. Honestly, 2023 was a great year for me, and I hope it was for all of you as well. Thank you all for watching my fallen ones. I'm gonna go make a video and stream later though, so. Sub like. Hope you all enjoyed. Bye bye.